Hi, I'm Melissa Rando at the Big Picture Con 2014. And with me today are Rick and Nathan from Old Fashioned. And we're going to be talking to them about their film that's coming out really soon. So, Rick, tell us a little bit about your film and your part in it. Sure, the name of the film is Old Fashioned. I'm the writer director of the film, and it's going to be released in theaters nationwide uh, Valentine's Day 2015. And it's a story of a former frat boy and a free spirited woman who together attempt the impossible an old-fashioned courtship in contemporary America. When are you going what to role start? do you play in the film? I play the role of Clay. And the timing with Valentine's Day is intentional, of course? Absolutely, not accidental whatsoever. In fact, it was when we announced uh, the release on Valentine's Day that we are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fifty Shades of Grey, sort of when the media blew up for us. That's when we really hit the press hard, and uh, it's going to be interesting. Great juxtaposition there, as you said, old-fashioned romance in modern-day society compared to a Fifty Shades of Grey, which is totally different. Correct. I love it. Okay, Nathan, tell us about your role with the film. Uh, well, I was a producer on Old Fashioned and had the pleasure of working with Rick and uh, also a very talented team of filmmakers uh, to take this very simple um, yet uh, complex story uh, and turn it into a film that we believe actually is, is very universal. And um, so we, we're looking forward to sharing it uh, with, with a wide audience. Um, we're very fortunate as independent filmmakers um, to have a film that's going to be released on 300 screens uh, nationwide. And that is something that's incredibly exciting for us. That's an amazing accomplishment, 300 screens, wow. What markets are you targeting specifically? Well, that's, that's a question I would toss back to Nathan. Mm -hmm. Well, certainly what we are going to target are markets that we believe the film will have traction in. A lot of those markets will be major cities like Atlanta, where the big picture conference uh, takes place. Um, other markets where we believe um, the type of story that we're telling, which does have um, some very organic faith-based elements, uh, will perform well. And um, we are uh, looking forward to getting it to, to an audience. And, um, and, and, as, and as the cities take shape, they'll all be uh, put on the website, oldfashionedmovie.com. Uh, all those, they'll all be listed there. And that, they'll be added to and continue to develop between now and the release of the film uh, February. Okay, perfect. And that was oldfashionedmovie.com? That's correct. Okay, so the viewers can check that out for a city near them. Wonderful. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about the journey with the film. It sounds like there may be a backstory. You mentioned a, a little bit of ch a challenge in doing this like traditional type of a story. Well, sure. I mean, we live in a world uh, and a, our culture today doesn't necessarily embrace uh, old fashioned ideals, especially when it comes to romance. And so the initial idea for the, the screenplay, I, at the time I was surrounded by a bunch of single people uh, and we were all dating and we had not seen a film that reflected our experiences as singles and what we were trying to do with our lives in terms of still finding love and romance but doing it within a certain value system that doesn't necessarily receive a lot of affirmation and so we set out uh, to begin a journey of what would it look like if you tried to tell a story that took those ideas seriously you know they're, they're not a joke it's not all you know ha ha goofy uh, kind of approach the material, but really take it seriously mm -hmm. and sincerely. That's correct. And that's that was the beginning of it. And it uh, was in development for many years. And we finally, everything started to click into place for it. And really uh, providential, the timing of it, for if we had finished the film a year previously, we wouldn't have the juxtaposition of us and Fifty Shades of Grey. And I think it really, it really um, pushes the conversation in the right direction and it is going to inspire a lot of interesting debate by having those films out at the same time, side by side. And we'll let audiences decide for themselves, you know? But I think it's, it'll, it'll be very hard to avoid the conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see who wins out at the box office. Well, they, they, <laughs> they, got a, they got a pretty loyal fan base, but you know, nothing is impossible. No one thought that David had a shot with Goliath either. And we, uh, no. so you never know. That's right, and the faith-based audience is huge, so yes. they will yeah. come out and support. And it's not just a faith-based film, Correct. though, so you have uh, a lot of different audiences that can converge and boost those numbers. And, and that's the remarkable thing, too, we found even with the press that has come out is, uh, the, you know, the Peace and Time magazine and MTV and the International Business Times is, is how balanced the coverage of the material is. People are being very fair, and I think when it comes to 
romance and the story of Fifty Shades, and I think there are a lot of people have questions. Is that really what you hope for for your, for your children, for your daughter? Is that the love story you hope she gets to live out? And I think it's, you know, it's, the debate just isn't a faith-based or secular debate. I think it's much broader and, and based on the coverage we've received, I'm, I'm encouraged because I think there is, a, there is a growing longing for innocence amongst people in our culture. I think people are tired and we're weary of having uh, media beat us up in terms of, and I'm not talking the news, I'm just talking the stories. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard enough to live life. And uh, there's, I think there's a hunger for a different kind of love story. And I, I, hope, we, uh, I hope we can meet that need. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so what is on tap for you guys next after this? A little sleep, I think, would be very, very welcome. Uh, but honestly, what we uh, would love to do um, would be to continue to tell stories um, that provoke, mm -hmm. um, that are entertaining, um, and that really address um, issues that we're all struggling with. I mean, we're, you know, as Rick, Rick mentioned, we live in a society where um, you know, over 50% of the marriages are failing, and that doesn't matter whether or not you have any uh, any faith in your life or, or not, and certainly that's an issue that we need to address. The one thing I don't want to get lost here, though, is that this is a very romantic film, and um, I will safely say that we've accomplished some things in this film mm -hmm. that have never been done before, even at a studio level, and I will leave it at that, and audiences will have to decide for themselves if that statement is correct. Remember, that's Valentine's Day 2015, Old Fashioned. It's a romantic drama, and you'll love it. Thank you guys so much for joining us at Big Picture Con. We really appreciate it. We've loved hearing about your film, and we can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you.